Welcome all of you to the YouTube channel of Medical Information Vlog. Here we keep bringing different types of videos related to medical. Today in this video some important radiology questions related to radiology are going to be important for you all from the point of view of your exam and interview. Stay tuned in the video till the end. The video is going to be great. If you are visiting our channel for the first time then subscribe our channel. Also don't forget to press the bell icon and share with your friends. Question 1. When ionization occurs? Answer. When atoms lose electrons, they become deficient in negative charges and therefore behave as positively charged atoms. Question 2. Who discovered the X-radiation? Answer. Röntgen discovered the X-radiation. Question 3. A quality radiograph is obtained using a 4-inch PID and an exposure time of 3 impulses. The PID was removed and replaced with a 16-inch PID. What should the new exposure time be to maintain image density? Answer. 48 impulses. Question 4. What is the unit of time used to measure X-rays exposure? Answer. Impulses. Question 5. A diagnostic film is produced using 10 mar in 0.5 second. What exposure time is needed to produce the same film at 20 ma? Answer. 0.25 seconds. Question 6. What conditions will you commonly see as a diagnostic radiologist? Answer. There are far too many to list. Any disease or patient presentation that can possibly have a physical, imaging manifestation from the cranial vertex down to the tips of the toes is a possibility in the radiology department. There's a lot to know, but that's what makes it challenging and satisfying. Question 7. What are some new areas in radiology? Answer. Combined imaging techniques such as offer exciting future opportunities for disease detection and monitoring functional magnetic resonance imaging, molecular imaging, cardiac mister and CT, breast MRI, expanding interventional techniques. Question 8. Explain radiology? Answer. Radiology is a medical specialty that employs the use of imaging to both diagnose and treat disease visualized within the human body. Radiologists use an array of imaging technologies, such as X-ray radiography, ultrasound, computed tomography, CT, nuclear medicine, positron emission tomography, PET, and magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, to diagnose or treat diseases. Interventional radiology is the performance of, usually minimally invasive, medical procedures with the guidance of imaging technologies. Question 9. Explain what a densitometer is used for? Answer. A densitometer is used to study the relationship between the intensity of the exposure of the film and the blackness after processing. Question 10. What are the cells that are most sensitive to X-radiation? Answer. The most sensitive cells in humans to X-radiation are small lymphocytes. It means overexposure to X-radiation will first affect your immune system. Question 11. What is the unit of measuring radiation dosage? Answer. The scientific unit of measurement for radiation dose is millisievert, MSV. Other radiation dose measurement includes RAD, REM, Röntgen, Sievert and Gray. Question 12. What does an X-ray tube consist of? Answer. An X-ray tube consists of cathode, anode, expansion bellow, tube envelope, tube housing, cooling the electric oil. Rotor, induction stator, tube window. Question 13. Explain how X-ray tube works. Answer. X-ray tubes are energy converter. It receives the electrical energy and converts into two other forms X-radiation and heat. 
the electrons are converted to protons in formation of X radiation, while the heat emitted is considered an undesirable product. Question 14. Why lead foil sheet in the film packet is used? Answer. In the film packet, the lead foil sheet is used to protect the film from the backscattered radiation. Question 15. List out the differences between X-rays and MRI. Answer. To capture internal view of the body. X-ray uses radiation. MRI uses the water in our body and the proton in the water molecules to capture the internal view of the body. It uses magnetic radiation. X-rays are mostly used to study the structure of bones and teeth. MRI are used for multiple purposes like analysis of soft tissue, spinal cord injury, ligament and tendon injury, brain tumors, etc. A complete scan is done in few seconds. Scanning typically runs for about 30 minutes. Excess exposure may cause irreversible damage like cancer. There is no side effects of MRI. X-ray does not have efficiency to capture an image from a different angle. Patient himself have to adjust their position for taking image from a different angle. 3D isotropic imaging can be produced and in any other plane with MRI. X-rays are cheaper and less space occupying than MRI. MRI needs more room, and it's expensive compared to X-rays. Question 16. What is the type of radiation used in dental X-rays? Answer. In dental X-rays, electromagnetic radiation are used. Question 17. Why a grid is sometimes placed in a cassette? Answer. A grid is sometimes placed in a cassette to avoid scatter radiation from the film and diminishing the detail of the image. Question 18. Explain what is emulsion? Answer. Emulsion is the most important component of X-ray film. It is made up of silver halide crystals suspended in gelatin. The X-rays from the intensifying screens interact with emulsion and transform information to the film. Question 19. What is the optimal temperature of the developer solution in a manual film processing setup? Answer. The optimal temperature of the developer solution is 68 degree Fahrenheit. Question 20. Explain what do you mean by latent effect in radiology? Answer. The latent effect in radiology is referred to the time duration between the exposure to radiation and the findings of clinical signs. Question 21. What is an early clinical sign of excessive acute exposure to radiation? Answer. The early clinical sign of excessive acute exposure to radiation is erythema. Question 22. In USA, who regulates the devices used for radiation and monitor its usage? Answer. In USA, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, monitors the manufacture and sale of the devices. While, State Health Department keeps the watch on the use and release of radioactive materials along with manufacture and sale. NRC, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and DO, Department of Energy, will monitor how people work with various devices and radioactive materials. Question 23. Is it dangerous if a person is exposed to X-rays frequently? Answer. If a person is exposed to X-rays for medical purpose, then it should not be dangerous as it emits a low level of radiation. However, if he, she is exposed for longer duration then it will be dangerous. Question 24. What type of image will it produce when using the bisecting angle technique, directing the X-ray beam perpendicular to the long axis of the teeth? Answer. It will produce an elongation of tooth images. Question 25. Mention what is the unit to measure X-rays exposure? Answer. The unit of X-rays exposure is impulses. Question 26. What are the radiations and technology that radiologist uses? Answer. 
Radiologist uses an array of imaging technologies that includes X-rays radiography, ultrasound, computed tomography, nuclear medicines, positron emission tomography PET, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Question 27. Explain the principle of X-ray in radiology. Answer. X-rays are the type of radiation with a specific wavelength. When it passes through human body, different tissues absorb this radiation differently, depending upon the tissue's density. Moreover, based on the body tissue and bone density, it will create an image on the film. I hope this video will be helpful for all of you. For more such videos subscribe our channel and share with your friends. I keep bringing many videos related to medical field on my channel. So subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video till then thanks for watching.